Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to the last Sony Vegas tutorial of the day. In this video guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to bass boost music. So let's say you're tired of music that's like really, that's sounding really dry and empty. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in this video and also guys I'm gonna break right now so I'll be back on Monday but this video is recorded beforehand so I'm not going to reply to any comments I just wanted to do like something else outside of YouTube for one week and then come back like 10 times better so I'm gonna I'm gonna break right now and I would say let's start off with actual tutorial okay guys so we're in Suna Vegas again and I just dragged in an NCS music like a song because I'm going to show you guys how to bass boost this song so it's really simple guys there's nothing complicated about this so I lowered the volume a little bit because I don't want to go into the red as you can see right there it can go into the Red, we don't want that so just lower the music a little bit i just put the opacity to minus 2.6 decibels and that's how we're gonna hit it from there so this is a song that i'm going to use bass boost this one so you can also memorize it without the bass boost Okay, so this is the song that we're going to use and first of all you want to apply some effects to it so first of all i'm going to get, let you guys listen again to this song without any bass boost Okay, so that's the song Elysium by NCS. If you guys wonder what the song is, I'll leave the you know credits in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to EQ this track. So we're going to click on this green icon, this one that says okay track track effects. So right here you want to go over to the track EQ tab, this one. And what you want to do is you want to click, we want to pick a preset. And first of all, guys, I want you to, uh, first of all, if you're watching this on your phone with your phone speakers, you're not going to notice it because you need some good audio or like a headset or like earbuds to in order to hear the difference. So if you're on a phone, you know, on your phone speakers or tablet or whatever, it's not going to sound that well. But if you're on a computer um, and you have like a decent headset or you can just, you know, use earbuds in your phone, you will be able to hear it, but you're not going to hear it from like regular speakers. So what we're going to do is you can see we have, we have the track EQ and there are a lot of presets as you can see. And also one that's also made for you. So you don't need to mess with the EQ and, uh, and, the, and you know, all the, the knobs right there. What you want to do is you want to just click on the bass boost one. We have two bass boost, you know, options. This is like bass boost frequencies below 350 hertz by 4 decibels, and you also have boost frequencies above 7 kilohertz. So what we're going to pick is the the, the bottom one. Enable this this effect, and let's see what the song sounds like with the effect applied on it. it sounds way better. Okay, so this is the first you know effect that we applied on it. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to uncheck the bass boost effect. So this is a song without the bass boost. You clearly can hear the difference. This is a song with the track EQ applied to it. So that makes a huge difference as you can hear but if let's say if you're not satisfied with that what you also can do is you can pick the other one which is bass boost frequencies below 250 hertz by 4 decibels and let's see what that sounds like.
that sounds way, way, way better than the previous one. But the bad thing is, guys, as you can see right there, it went into the red, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the music, well, the, the volume of it, so until it's not in the red anymore. Two thousand years later, and I'm going to play back the song, and while the song is playing, I'm going to apply it so you guys can, you know, hear the difference. So. This is the, well. I'm just going to apply the, like the effect in the middle of the song, so you guys can clearly hear the difference. guys can hear that makes a huge difference and this is how you bass boost songs guys make sure that you just have you know you can lower the opacity because if i put the opacity up like up to 100 it's going to go into the red zone like immediately as you can see right there so it's way too loud so you just want to lower this until this marker doesn't reach the red boxes this is how you bass boost the song guys it's really simple like in how to do in sony vegas so this is how you bass boost it so that's it for the sony vegas so guys i want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys so much for i think one, one like 29,000 subscribers by when this video was live thanks again for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video i really appreciate you and hope to see you guys tomorrow for two videos of reacting to videos from subscribers as always on thursday so thanks again and i will see you guys tomorrow